Hello, I'm Bill Griffith, and today I'm going to talk about IBM's automation platform for digital business. This is a new bundling of IBM Process uh, Business Process Manager, IBM Operational Decision Manager, IBM Case Manager, IBM Data Cap, and IBM Content Foundation uh, into one platform with one part number. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you, you've seen many of these products. Uh, that make up the platform, but what I wanted to do today was take the time to explain how these products fit together to address the larger business automation challenges that businesses face today. And so as you can see in this cake chart, uh, we have uh, business process automation often requires a variety of uh, capabilities and patterns, uh, and so if you put these together, you really get more power and, uh, and can address a larger set of automation uh, challenges. Uh, as you recall from my uh, pizza ordering process, I used uh, IBM Business Process Manager. Uh, this is a workflow pattern to do the pizza ordering process. Uh, you also uh, recall from my uh, RPA video, R Robotic Process Automation, where I took data out of a spreadsheet and filled in a web page. Uh, RPA is very good for that. I also showed you Operational Decision Manager here for pricing the pizza and, and uh, making those uh, decisions and rules available to business users uh, to manage uh, the, the, pizza price, uh, the pizza prices. And so now I'm going to drill in a little bit uh, architecturally and show you how these products fit together uh, to extend our pizza ordering process to, to a broader scenario. And so as you remember in my pizza ordering process, uh, I showed you how to build the process that allowed customers to pay for pizza with cash or, or with a credit card, you see here. Uh, and now imagine that I want to accept a check, a physical uh, check. And so how I would do this, I mean, you could have the person, the driver, uh, enter this data, uh, read off the check, and then enter it into an automated clearinghouse a processing uh, system that will process that check, but uh, that's error prone. It's also slow and, and not as automated as you'd like. And so IBM has this product called IBM Data Cap that uses optical character recognition, OCR, and it can actually uh, scan the image uh, of the check and then detect the characters and the numbers. So the routing number, the check number, the payment amount uh, of that check and then automatically process it. So that gives you a, a, another level of automation uh, for this scenario. Um, now sometimes uh, customers write a check without necessarily having the money in their account. And so the ACH will return an error. This you see is a bad payment type. Um, and so in that case, I need to pass off this order to the fraud department here to uh, investigate if this is an intentional uh, situation or, or an accident. Now, investigating a fraud case uh, often comes with a lot of variability. Uh, you know, in this uh, diagram here, everything kind of flows a consistent way, repeatable that I want. But uh, um, oftentimes with investigations, they're not this linear and, and structured. Uh, and so I leave it up to my case manager, my uh, knowledge worker, to decide what to do, whether or not that means to contact the customer with an email or uh, call them on the phone, or if they've determined that it's fraud, then to reach out to the police. And so I let the, the uh, investigator uh, decide how to do that. And so to do that, I can use this IBM case manager product that's really designed specifically for those kinds of workflow patterns. Now, if, if the case manager determines that uh, this is in fact fraud, uh, they may want to um, uh, kick off an activity that copies the data from the ICM system over to a spreadsheet as a blacklist of customers that have passed off fraud, uh, fraudulent checks. And so uh, I could use robotic process automation for that copy in from this system to the spreadsheet. Certainly, if I had spreadsheet APIs, and, and I could do that, but that's often more complicated than just using robotic process automation uh, to do that copy in of data over. And so once I've, uh, so in the other scenario where the document is not, I'm sorry, the uh, check is not bad, uh, then I need to void out that uh, uh, check. And then I need to save it, often two to seven years for tax purposes. And so IBM's Content Foundation product is really designed uh, for that. It's an enterprise content management system, uh, ECM, 
uh, and it has those retention policies and expiration policies as well as well as redaction which is the ability to uh, black out parts of uh, personal information private information uh, that uh, only certain people need to see so uh, great product for that and again uh, you would have to do this if you process checks you got to hold on to them for a certain uh, period of time and so as you see the the platform provides more capabilities than any one product and, and that allows you to automate more of the business process and gain more efficiencies, reduce costs, and provide more visibility into the uh, end to end uh, business process. So, uh, in the future videos, I'll, I'll show you how these other products uh, work and how to, to build this scenario with those products and, and automate more of this diagram. Uh, and as you see also, I, I built this in BlueWorks Live, which is for modeling business processes. I use it for kind of capturing the requirements. And I'll show you a step-by-step -step video of how I built this diagram and the, the data that goes behind it for requirements. And as you see, the whole platform, that's IBM uh, Automation Platform for Digital Business. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in seeing these uh, upcoming videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.